Hello, my wonderful friends. Happy Friday to all of you. So there's big news for Social Security beneficiaries. There is now billions of dollars of relief that has been made available for senior citizens and Social Security recipients. Many of our lawmakers in Congress are working together to pass new legislation that would benefit millions of Americans as quickly as possible. So my friends, please make sure to watch until the end of this video if you would like to receive additional crisis relief aid this year. Also, share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable stimulus news. And at the end of this video, I will be announcing the three winners of this week's $75 Walmart gift card giveaway. My plan also makes historic investment in clean energy, including a tax credit for people to do things like winterize their homes, install solar panels, develop clean energy products, help business produce more clean energy. It's real. I promise you. I won't be around to see it, but I promise you. Your kids are going to see a time when they're not, in fact, generating any energy from the homes here in Scranton other than renewable energy. Not a joke. And by the way, one of the things the president uh, put me in charge of my, <laughs> I want to be clear here, President Obama put me in charge of when I was vice president. I was able to invest in that legislation that we put together, I put together. We brought down the price of, the, of solar and wind cheaper than coal and cheaper than oil on a, on a BTU basis. It's cheaper. Coal built this town and this part of the country. But we got to provide other avenues for people to make the same kind of living they used to be able to make. Look, all told, I just said this project is going to save literally hundreds of millions of barrels of oil annually. But folks here in Pennsylvania know the cost of inaction when it comes to climate change. Extreme weather has cost this state $10 billion over the last decade. And nationally, as I said, extreme weather conditions cost $99 billion last year. And I flew over all this territory in helicopter in, the, in Marine One. Not a joke. See it. See reservoirs that are down 60, 80 feet. Concern about the Colorado River, whether or not we're going to be able to keep things moving. Not a joke. It's real. This is serious stuff. All right, friends. So this year in particular, it is more important than ever to pay special attention to how you file your taxes. As a result of last year's stimulus bill, you may be entitled to credits and rebates you do not usually qualify for. These special credits are available to you even if you receive Social Security supplemental income or if you do not make enough money to file a tax return or simply don't usually file one. There are two big credits to watch out for this tax filing season if you receive SSI or Social Security benefits. One credit is the Earned Income Tax Credit. The credit, which is known as EITC, provides low to moderate income workers and families certain program specific tax breaks. You can use the credit to reduce the taxes that you owe to the IRS, which could in turn increase your overall tax refund. Just like the child tax credit, the EITC is determined by your income and the number of qualifying dependents. You can still receive the Earned Income Tax Credit if you receive Social Security or SSI, as long as you meet the rules for the Earned Income Tax Credit program. Social Security benefits and SSI do not affect one's eligibility for the Earned Income Tax Credit. Your disability insurance or SSI payments might be counted as earned income for the credit, but that will depend on a number of factors. So to claim the earned income tax credit, the first step is to make sure that you file a tax return for 2021. Another credit is a child tax credit. As part of the stimulus relief bill that was expanded to $3,600 per eligible child under the age of six, and also $3,000 per eligible child ages six to 17, Advanced monthly portions compromising half of this credit began going out to families in July of 2021 and were paid out through December of 2021, with the other half of the credit 
available right now, which is during tax filing time. If you did not claim this credit last year, please do not worry. You still have time to claim the credit on your tax return this year. Now friends, there is a new bill that has been proposed and it aims to keep Social Security beneficiaries out of poverty. Even before the crisis began two years ago, many Americans have trouble covering their cost of living with income solely from Social Security. The bill has been reintroduced in Congress aimed at reducing the risk that older Americans will live in poverty despite receiving their monthly checks. The proposal, which is called the Social Security Enhancement and Protection Act, was put forward by Democratic Representative Gwen Moore. This measure aims to improve benefits in three ways. First, it would update what is called the Special Minimum Benefit to 100% of the current poverty level. This would apply to individuals who have paid into Social Security for at least 30 years and claim benefits when they reach full retirement age. Benefits then would be adjusted so that workers with at least 10 years of work but fewer than 30 would also be eligible. Also, the bill proposes increasing monthly checks for all beneficiaries by at least 5% once they have been retired for at least 20 years. That increase would be gradually phased out starting when beneficiaries have reached 16 years of eligibility. In addition to that, Representative Gwen Moore calls for applying child care credits towards future program eligibility for parents of children under the age of six. Those parents would receive a credit for each year that a child under the age is in the home for a maximum of five years. That time would count towards the 30 years required for the special minimum benefit. Other Social Security proposals from Democrats have also sought to establish a minimum benefit to help keep people out of poverty. Democratic Representative John Larson has also put forward a bill aimed at increasing benefits. So my friends, what are your thoughts on making changes to Social Security? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much everyone for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. The three winners of this week's $75 Walmart gift card giveaway are Vicki Campbell, Richard Williams, and Teresita Holmes. Congratulations, friends. Friends, if I have announced you as a winner, please do make sure that you check your notification. Thank you so very much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed weekend.